abstract. I made bridges from different materials and tested how strong they are. I found that thicker materials make stronger bridges. show you how it works. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. and paper clips. My question is, how many paper clips can an electric magnet pick up? My hypothesis that is, I think it will pick up 50 paper clips. The materials I used are wire strippers, long screwdriver, paper clips, and Tape, scissors, six volt battery, and lots of paper clips. And what? Six, six 
about five feet of coating wire. We took a screwdriver and wrapped the coating wire around it lots of times. We then have to duct tape it on both ends so we left a little room at the end so it could pick up the paper clips. We used the wire stripper to take off the ends, yellow coating, and we just the wire on each end of uh, ends, attach the wire on one end to the spring on the battery, then I take the other end of the wire and put it on the spring to make a circuit. I only do this when I'm doing the experiment. Results? And the paper clips. My conclusion is that it didn't pick up as many paper clips as I thought. For a future experience, I will try to add another battery to have more power.
long do you need to wear a medical mask? It's really important to wear a medical mask because of the pandemic situation. So this is my balls and this is what I need, my materials. I just took water, a golf cart and sticks and a medical mask. So I left my bacterials in a warm dark place. So this is them after 30 minutes, after an hour, after hour and a half, after two hours and after two hours and a half. This is the, the pictures of them, but more uh, closer. So this is my thing and it says like how, how fast they growing. So after 30 minutes, hour, hour and a half, two hours and more. Uh, so this is the last picture and I have a lot of bacteria so this one is really big so this is a, so this experiment shows how, how important it's you to wear a medical mask thank you bye what kinds of mints make soda explode so if you are walking around and you accidentally drop a mint into a bottle of soda, you don't know if it will explode or not. Well, right now I am going to solve that problem by finding out what kinds of mints do make soda explode and what don't. So here I have my, my mints and Coca-Cola and I will lead you through the process. This pillow. I am Dr. Schroeder, and the, this is my hypothesis for our mint into Coca-Cola explosion problem. So, I am thinking all the kinds of mints will make soda explode, especially these clean breasts, and these icebreakers, and the Tic Tacs. And as soon as I find out what really happened, I, I would like you all to stay indoors. Oh, watch out! That's a bubble reaction! Just put the bowl down. Okay, let's do this. Watch out! It's exploding! 